All right guys, so I'm headed to the gym now. I am doing back and biceps. I'm gonna record some of it. Um, I'm going to do 20 minutes of cardio while watching YouTube videos and I will do that before and after and then I'm gonna try to go in the sauna. We'll see if I get that far. I'm also gonna try to do some abs today too. So we will see, we will find out, but it's so cold here. It is freezing. The wind's not helping and it's been like this for the past few days and there's no sun. So I feel like crap. My anxiety is hitting hard right now. But tonight I'm going to make salmon. I'm gonna record some of that and I have homework to do. So exciting. So I'll see you at the gym. Okay guys, during this workout, I did the same thing that um, Whitney did in her videos. Um, so I'm not sure what these are called, but they're like a lat pull down. You're supposed to keep your back straight to in uh, incorporate more of your lat muscles. I found this challenging, so I had to lighten my weight a little bit. But with all of my exercises today, I did four sets of 12. All right, so these are a different variation of the lat pull downs. I like to sit like this because I engage more of my core instead of standing up. I also find this a little bit more challenging when you keep your wrists facing out instead of facing in. And also it incorporates more of your lat muscles than it does your biceps. Um, I Next time I'm gonna try to pause at the bottom, it'll give it a little bit more definition and um, try to do lower reps with higher weight because these are now my absolute favorite. All right, so in Whitney's video, she incorporated both of these exercises back to back with the same weight. I had to pick different weights because my shoulders are not as strong as my back is. So I used five pounds for this and the following exercise I used 20 pounds. Whitney mentioned in her last video that she loves doing a close lat pull down, and I understand why. It hits the lats a lot harder, and it also incorporates your core a little bit more than the wide lat pull down. So these are now one of my absolute favorite for back days as well. All right, for dinner I have two salmon fillets, a baked potato, and some broccoli. And the macros for this are really, really good. And I use the LifeSum app. And that is my dinner. So as you can see, I still have a lot of carbs, a lot of protein, and a lot of fat left. So tonight for my snack, I'm gonna make some nachos. And that'll bring up most of that up. And if I still have some protein left over, I'm going to drink a protein shake. So that's what's going on for tonight. I'm going to do some homework after I eat and watch a few episodes of Grey's. I do have my sheets in the wash. That's why my bed's not made. Um, I did dust my room and I vacuumed. So I got a lot done today. Hopefully I'll get some homework in there. But yeah. So that's going to conclude this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the back workout and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.